in this video uh, hi all in this video we are actually going to uh, see about uh, uh, about how to connect uh, mongodb with django and <coughs> how to do the mongo crud operations uh, using django i mean like say if you are actually adding something to the database how can you actually see that in the website and if you are doing something in the website how can you actually see that in the um, in the MongoDB that is what we are going to see so for that you need to follow all the initial steps <coughs> you should have a virtual you should uh, you should create a virtual environment and then you should activate the virtual environment and you should have installed Django so these are the pre steps which you should know already and uh, then you are actually uh, creating an app okay so here you I mean like you're actually first creating the project so that's your gallery block that you already know because you have already created the gallery block in the last uh, this thing itself and uh, you are just running and seeing whether it is running then you are actually creating the super user you should have a super user and uh, super user is for your admin access in the Django right so uh, you, you just try to give some uh, say if you if you were not using a, a major application of you're not creating a major application this is just for the demo so i'm just giving admin admin but if you are actually using it for a proper demo uh, proper i mean like application purposes try to use the uh, admin password according to the policies and uh, it is highly recommended in that way and uh, then create uh, the admin application okay and uh, I will show you all those and uh, then coming back to that you are actually creating a application gallery so when you look at here you have this uh, in the gallery blog okay you are actually creating this gallery to do okay so in the gallery block you have this gallery to do this is what we are actually creating in that we are trying to make it very simple because we just want to perform a normal CRUD operation so the first thing which you have to do is that you need to go to the in the, in the main project gallery block this is the main project in that you are going to settings.py in that you are going to the installed apps right you are adding this gallery to do you know before you have added you know uh, the other apps which you have created as well so this is your project basically and this gallery image and gallery today are the two applications and as part of this particular project right so you are adding this uh, gallery to do and this comma is a must right so this is something which is happening in this uh, in the in your settings and also you should make sure that for you to connect uh, mongo with uh, Django you should have you are using the Django engine Django is a uh, connector engine which will DB connector which connects the MongoDB with the Django and uh, the name is nothing but this gallery block the project name we are actually giving this project name right uh, so that's all here in the settings dot uh, UI and uh, we are not changing anything in the uh, in anywhere uh, we are going to the gallery to do in the gallery to do uh, you know take the uh, models okay models.py in the model.py we are actually creating a class to do because we just need a small uh, task and description say you will look something like this I mean like we need something like this one uh, something which uh, has got a task and the description that's all so task and description this is exactly what we are actually doing here task is actually a care field with 50 and uh, description could be a little bit longer that means it can have a maximum length of uh, 100 right so this is what it is and uh, then in the admin.py uh, we are actually importing the models from there right and uh, also apart from that we are actually registering the application that to do so these are the only things which we are basically doing so once we go to the uh, uh, I mean like then after that uh, create your mongodb I mean like connect with your mongodb I will just delete this as well and uh, see once you update it when you refresh it you could see that this gallery to do is basically created so you have got a gallery to do and now what you have to do is that go to admin uh, you know uh, admin slash admin okay I'll just log out 
okay so log in again i'm just logging again just for showing you so i'm just logging on to the admin so when you log log on, when you're logging into the admin you could see this to do's which are actually created here so this is the to do which we have actually created uh, uh, created uh, this is the one which we have actually created here in the models all right so this is actually created here now you can click on it okay and uh, nothing is there so you're going to add it so you're going to work from the administration itself so i'm just giving task one okay uh, trial task one okay and i'm just saving it and i'm just creating one more task uh, it is basically task two this is the trial task two okay so i'm just creating two different tasks so both of them are created uh, successfully so when you look at here you will have this task two and right and one right so this is how it is now what you have to do is that you have to go back to your django and refresh okay sometimes when you refresh your django uh, it will not work okay so at this time what you have to do is that close it okay and go to the mongodb compass open it again normally when you um, when you refresh it it should work okay so then what you have to do is that go back to your gallery db i mean like gallery blog and go to the to do so when you see here you could see uh, two different tasks okay the task which we have created is actually created here right now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to update one of the tasks here I'm just going to update in such a way that uh, okay, I'll do it later. I will change this as this is the changed task one. Okay, and I'm just updating it. Okay, so I have updated it. Now I'm going back to the MongoDB and i am doing a refreshing operation here and uh, i am going back to the okay sorry i am going back to the home okay in that i have this to do's and then i am going to check the task one see this is the change task one right so that updation you could actually see it here now i am going to update from here okay uh, changing the task from Django admin okay I'm just saving this I have saved it so the changes has been updated properly now I'm going back here to the mongo compass and I am updating it okay so when it is not updated like that uh, you can uh, close and open it normally it will update by simply refreshing itself so you are now going back to the uh, gallery blog and in that the to do list i mean like to do so you could see that changing the task from django admin so this updation has been happening here right ha has happened here now i'm going to add uh, sorry here from here it is difficult to add so i'm just uh, you have already seen the add addition so now uh, what i could do is that i'm just deleting one from here okay delete okay so now if you see here one of your task is basically deleted okay so now uh, so that ad updation has happened here so now i'm going to delete it from here okay now when i go back to your uh is there any okay no way so what i could do is i'm just uh, refreshing it i'm seeing you know it's not closing so i'll just close it and again open it and i'm just connecting it and then let's see let's go to the gallery blog and uh, scroll down and to do list and say nothing is here okay so this is how the crud operations basically work so you can have you know multiple uh, 
uh, I mean like uh, you know whatever you have so now you have actually connected right so once you have connected and once you have done the migrations properly okay so once you have done the migration so if you have done something you just make sure that you are doing the migrations so once you have done the migration that whole data will be updated in the mongodb then you can actually do all these things right so uh, always after the after updating your uh, model.py file just make sure that you are doing the migrations you have to make sure that you are doing this migration only when you migrate so make migrations will collect all the migrations and migrate will push it in onto your mongodb so this is the very critical step which you have to perform and uh, only after that you have to run so this is actually very critical step so only after making the migrations you will be able to see all this i mean like it will be in sync both your django uh, uh, the you know the mongodb and the uh, django will be in sync so make sure that whenever you are updating something you are actually updating it in the uh, the uh, you have to do python manage.py make migrations and uh, the other one so when you look at here uh, you could see i have done this migrations right so you could see here that you know after the changes i have created the super user and everything and then i have done this um, manage python.py make migrations and also i have done um, migrate so all these migrations has happened so only after all this migration i have actually run my python manage.py uh, run server so uh, this uh, op you know before running your server you know it is mandatory that you have to do the make migrations and migrate okay so that's all it is so now you know how to connect uh, django with the mongodb and uh, how you can actually uh, you know update uh, from the admin django admin and from the mongodb so this you have this you know already so this is what you want and uh, i think you know you are ready to go so if you have any confusions or anything like that get back to me or if you have anything you can always uh, ask me in the chat box thank you so much